Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to see how to create a Google Kubernetes cluster in Google Cloud. So let's jump into it. So let's go to Google Cloud Console and let's create a Google Kubernetes engine. So we'll open our browser and go to our Google Cloud Console. Okay, select your project over here. Now to create a Google Kubernetes engine, we'll go to our navigation menu first and then there you can see that there is a Kubernetes engine. Okay, so inside this Kubernetes engine, go to clusters. Now if you want to know how to create a Kubernetes cluster in your local environment, then I have created a video using Minikube. So you can check that video out as well. I'll link that into the description below. But here we'll create in a Google Cloud Console. Okay. So in this cluster, there is an option to create a cluster. Okay. So let's go and create a cluster over here. Yeah, Kubernetes cluster will include two things. One will be the master node and the other one will be the worker nodes. By default, there is a three node architecture or a three node cluster that we can create using the Google Kubernetes engine. Inside this cluster basics, you can see that uh, there is a different uh, option that we need to select. Let's give the name over here. my first cluster and then you can see we have to provide the location type either we can go with the zonal or the regional whatever is preferable you can select we'll go with the default one as of now for the zonal and then you can see that you can define the master version of the gke okay either you can go with the release channel or you can go with the static channel if you are going with the release channel then the automatic update or upgrade of the kubernetes cluster will happen okay kubernetes engine and if you are going with the static version, then you need to manually update your system. I will go with the static version as of now. Okay. Once you are selecting all this information, you can go with the default pool. You can see that there is a node pool over here. Okay. You can go over there and here you have to define the node pool details. Okay. You can see that there is a default pool name over here. We will go with that version only. You can see that in the node version, the master version, whatever we selected in the cluster basics, that is the same available over here. And here you can define the number of nodes that can be used to create a cluster. Okay. So default is the three node cluster. Okay. We can change the number of nodes as per the required. Okay. There is a different option to enable auto scaling and specify node locations and all those informations. We can skip as of now because we don't want uh, auto scaling for our nodes. Okay. We can enable those when we are doing for the production grade application. Okay. So all this information are fine for me. If you go to the nodes here, you have to specify the type of node that you are selecting you can see here i will go with the e2 micro over here okay with one shared cpu and one gb of memory okay you can select as per your requirement i'll change the disk boot size to 32 gigs this also you can define as per the requirement there is also option to specify maximum number of pods that will be available in your nodes and you can define the network tags and all those information over here so there is a different compute engines available okay you can see that there are different configurations available you can select any of the configurations as per your requirement okay and if you see that for the image type right which operating system you are using okay you can see that there are different uh, versions available i'll go ahead with the default one which is container optimized os if you go to the security you can add the security configurations for your cluster okay how you are going to access your clusters all those information you can add in your node security okay you can give the metadata information as well like different labels and uh, different keys and all those things okay over here and if you go to the cluster automation networking and all those features are all the advanced features that you can go through once you can create the clusters also so here we'll just concentrate on creating the cluster itself okay we'll go to the cluster basics so here i'm selecting the basic zone only okay your central one c you can select any of the zones available so this is the google cloud console from where we are creating the cluster there is a equivalent rest point also that you can use rest calls to create your cluster and similarly there is a command line also that you can use this command line to create a cluster using your G Cloud command line. Now let's create a cluster. It will take a couple of minutes to create a cluster. So we'll wait for that time and we'll get back. Okay. One eternity later. So yeah, you can see that the cluster is created. Once you go inside this cluster. Okay. You can see that you will get all the information regarding this cluster. All the storage information you will get over here and the nodes detail. Okay. These are the three nodes that has been created. And if you go to this particular compute engine and go to a virtual machine instance, Okay, you can see that three virtual machine instance will be created for us. 
okay you can see that these are the three instance that has been created for cluster now to connect to gke there is a connect button over here okay when you click on this you can see that you will get a command to connect to gke cluster which you have created okay you can copy this command and you can directly run in cloud shell over here also or if you have installed gcloud in your machine then you can use this command from your local machine as well to connect to your cluster i will be directly using this cloud shell over here okay you click on run in cloud shell and you can see that in the bottom part over here you can see that it's provisioning the cloud shell for us okay we'll wait for few minutes and you can see that it's been provisioned for us okay and you can see that the command is copied and pasted over here we'll just hit enter and it will connect okay it will ask for the authorization we'll authorize it and you can see that fetching cluster endpoint and authorization data and we are authorized to the gke cluster using the cloud shell now we can use our kubectl command to get all the information regarding our cluster okay if you do kubectl get nodes you can see that all the nodes information we will get over here okay you can see that these are three nodes created for us okay three minutes ago and if you run the command kubectl to get all the pods information or all the different deployments you can see that it's working fine okay so this way you can create a kubernetes cluster in google cloud now once this cluster is created you can deploy your applications into this particular cluster either using the cloud shell or using the local command prompt now if you are just using gke for the learning purpose then it's best practice to delete your resources once you are finished using it okay so to delete it you just click on the cluster over here and you can see that there is a delete button just delete it over here and it will delete your entire cluster with all the virtual machine instance and all the different resources which was created using the cluster okay so we'll just delete it and our cluster will be deleted in few moments so this is how you can create a google kubernetes engine in the google cloud so if you have any questions related to any of the topics that we have covered then please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video